Hi, my name's Jace. I'm a programmer and the community manager here at Coffee Stain Studios. And as you may have heard, there was some pretty big news last week. Coffee Stain has been bought by THQ Nordic. So I have the founder guy here. So uh, Lars, if you could just step in and introduce yourself, say a few words. Hey, I'm Lars. I'm the founder of THQ Nordic. All right, THQ I said Nordic. a few words. I don't need your life story. Get out. Okay, this is my show. How am I looking? Fine. Am I in frame? Great. Let's continue. So there have been, understandably, a lot of thoughts and opinions floating around online. And so I'm going to do a Q&A video here uh, to hopefully clear up as much as I can. Did THQ Nordic buy Coffee Stain? Uh, yes, they did. And there is also a very important distinction to make. Coffee Stain and Coffee Stain Studios are not the same thing. So Coffee Stain is a big group. And under Coffee Stain, there is Coffee Stain Studios, which is where I am right now. There's also Coffee Stain North in Stockholm. Lava Potion in Gothenburg, and Coffee Stain Publishing, who does a bunch of publishing things. And why this matters is because THQ Nordic bought Coffee Stain, the group, and so everything there stays the same. So for example, Coffee Stain Publishing is still our publishing arm. So the way this works is there's THQ Nordic, and directly underneath them is Koch Media, and then there's THQ Nordic, which is not the same as this THQ Nordic. That's a publisher in Vienna or something, and then there's Coffee Stain, and so we're we're considered as the third leg, <laughs> uh, which is endearing. Are your games going to be full of microtransactions now? I already answered that back in, I think it was Q&A number two or three, I'm not sure. Uh, and basically it's going to be a $300 subscription, but you do get a thousand gems with that. Um, and if you run out of gems, of course, you can buy more gems as well. Is THQ Nordic our publisher? Uh, no, THQ Nordic is not our publisher. Coffee Stain Publishing remains to be our publisher. I think we can go with THQ Nordic if we wanted to, but Satisfactory is gonna be published with Coffee Stain Publishing. Well, will this affect Coffee Stain games or the way Coffee Stain functions at all? Apparently not. Uh, they say that they like the way that we make games and want us to just keep doing what we do best. Why did Coffee Stain sell? Were you going bankrupt or something? No, not at all. Uh, basically, Coffee Stain was founded by nine students back in the day, like eight years ago or something. And over the years, Aspirations changed, it became more difficult to decide on things as nine people, it's a lot of people. And so the majority of them thought that continuing as they were was not best for the company. The founders didn't want to just sell Coffee Stain to anyone, they thought that if they found the right buyer who would do right by the company, then, then they would sell and THQ Nordic was it. The majority of the founders, they still work here as plebs, like everyone else. Uh, but a couple of them did leave. You say things are fine now, but what are they gonna do to you in five years? Yeah, I don't know, maybe they screw us over in five years. I have no idea, maybe they don't. Um, and even if we remain as indie, we still have no idea what's gonna happen in five years. Maybe we go bankrupt and there's no more coffee stain. Like anything could have happened. Okay, so that was a bunch of questions. I hope that sort of clears the air a little bit for you, but there is something that I uh, am quite passionate about that I wanna try and do in this video. And that is basically one thing that's important to me is, uh, to showcase to everyone out there that every single person in this company and in all companies are individual people with their own lives and with their own brains and their own opinions. Um, and so instead of doing what I think most other companies or studios would, would wanna do and just keep things all positive and roses, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just give you my honest opinion. And uh, my opinion on all of this is I don't really have much of an opinion. Like this doesn't matter so much for me. Um, I am a little bit skeptical uh, or cautious, I guess, uh, because I have no idea what's going to happen. Like people can say everything's going to be fine and then it's not fine. I have no idea. Um, I, but I was the, I was cautious and a little skeptical of Coffee Stain Publishing as well when they came to be. Uh, but I was super wrong <laughs> or they're super amazing. Basically, they're, they're great. And so maybe THQ Nordic is the same thing. I don't know. Um, inside and outside work, what matters to me most is making today as, as good as possible and if tomorrow changes or is fucked up, then I'll just deal with it then. So if you like this video, well, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, share it on social media as well. Again, I think doing this kind of transparency is, uh, I, I'm really passionate about it. Uh, so if you could share it, that would make me so warm and fuzzy inside. Have a lovely day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm I'm kidding there's no microtransactions I think I hope